Hello everyone, my name is Rahul, a PhD student at Carnegie Mellon, and I'm here to present our work on Lumos, a system to identify and localize hidden IoT devices in an unfamiliar environment. This work is done in collaboration with Ilahe, who is now a professor at UIUC, and my advisors, Professor Anthony Rowe and Vyas Seker. Let's say you walk into an Airbnb. Everything looks normal. But unfortunately, we live in a sad dystopian reality enabled by the commoditization of these IoT devices. That means there could be IoT devices around you, spying on you and recording all of your personal activities. These devices could be easily installed by either the previous guest or the owner himself. These IoT devices are also frequently used by attackers to commit domestic abuse. This threat is not just hypothetical, and it's actually very, very real. A quick Google search shows around eight articles written on this problem just last month. So what we really need is a system to identify and localize a hidden IoT device. That means a system should be able to tell us, oh, there is a hidden camera at a XYZ location. We actually went ahead and built such a system. This is a demo of a system called Lumos. It first detects a list of IoT devices around you and displays them via our mobile application. We then ask a user to take a short walk across the space to localize them. After the localization is done, a user can visualize this hidden IoT devices via an AR application in real time using just their mobile phones. So for example, they can see there is a plug behind the sofa, a hidden camera behind the flower pot, et cetera. Building such a system requires three key components. First, we need a module to capture the data. In this case, the wireless signals coming from IoT devices. Second, we need a data classification module that can take this capture data as the input and predict the device type. And last but not the least, we need a localization module that can localize and say like, oh, there is a camera at an XYZ location. Capturing data is difficult because of the limited network access to the user. A user does not know how many devices are out there, what access points they are connected to, or what wireless channels they are using to communicate. Moreover, these devices could be operating on the main home network, whereas a user is only given access to a guest Wi-Fi network. Classifying data is difficult because all the Wi-Fi traffic is encrypted. That means we don't have access to features such as IP, DNS, NTP, et cetera, which are widely used for device fingerprinting, but are only available at the router. The problem becomes even more difficult because of diverse transmission behavior of IoT devices. A camera might be transmitting, let's say, roughly every 15 millisecond, whereas a smart plug might only transmit once every minute. Localization is also challenging because of limited physical access to the user. That means a user cannot instrument the environment or install beacons to localize the devices. Moreover, a typical user is also not carrying expensive RF sensing equipment with them to localize the devices. But what they have access to is a personal device, such as a mobile phone or a laptop. None of the prior works are applicable for our scenario. They either require dedicated hardware, privileged network access, or they cannot detect all types of IoT devices. Our system, Lumos, is the only one that can detect and localize IoT devices while working with limited access and also by just using a mobile phone or a laptop. To develop Lumos, we had three, several inno three key innovations. First, we propose a new data capturing module that uses a greedy multi-arm bandit approach to learn the transmission behavior of each device. It then uses this information to decide at every time t when, what channel to sense, and for how long. We also propose a new feature extraction and classification algorithm that can predict the device type by just using encrypted Wi-Fi 802.11 packets. We propose a new localization algorithm that can localize the devices by correlating a user's motion through the space by the RSSI, or received signal strength indicator of the wireless packets. In the interest of time, I will only describe the key insights behind our data classification module, but please re refer our paper for more details. Our first insight is that even at the encrypted Wi-Fi 802.11 layer, we see some popular headers, such as packet length or packet time. These are well-known features in device fingerprinting, and we can also see how they are varying from device to device. But what we also have access to are features specific to 802.11 protocol, like packet subtype. 
For example, a specific subtype message is used by an IoT device, such as a smart doorbell, to tell the router that it's going to sleep and buffer all of its incoming packet, whereas it's never used in some other devices, such as a camera. Now, this is one of the many unknown features in the Wi-Fi 802.11 protocol. There are many, many more. So instead of handcrafting these features or these attributes, what we propose is to extract every possible header from 802.11 protocol. Now let's say we want to build a feature. Now this is how a typical feature engineering pipeline looks like. We extract certain attributes, like in this case, packet subtype, observe its variation over time. Now to compute a feature at a time t, we first define an aggregation window called delta. Now inside this aggregation window, we define some aggregate functions such as mean, histogram, and entropy. Now to compute feature at a time t, we apply these aggregate functions for all the packets inside that aggregation window. Now the problem lies in how do you decide this aggregation window? If you choose a very small aggregation window, you will be extremely prone to noise, whereas picking a large aggregation window will dilute the minor variation. This is also referred to as bias variance trade-off in the machine learning literature. What we ideally want is a small delta for a high transmission device, such as a camera, and a large delta for a low transmission device, such as a smart plug. So again, instead of handcrafting this delta, what we propose is a bunch of these aggregate windows. Now, at a feature at a time t, is this combination of aggregate functions applied to each of these aggregate windows. This is how our pipeline works. A users walk around the room, sniffing encrypted Wi-Fi 802.11 packets. We first build the features using a multi-time resolution algorithm that we propose. Now, since these features could have very wide variance, we normalize them. We then do the initial pruning to remove the features that are correlated or some of the values that don't change at all. We then train a one versus test machine learning classifier. That also helps in our case because we have a very class imbalanced data set. We have many more training samples coming from a camera compared to, let's say, a smart bulb. This also helps because now each classifier can pick its own set of relevant features. Now we make a prediction at every time t and do a majority voting in the end. Our evaluation setup consists of 44 different IoT devices spanning multiple vendors across nine different categories. This is a picture of our setup, which we use for training and testing our system. First, what I'm showing the result is from a prior work that assumes full network access, access at the router, which is impractical for our scenario. And as you can see, it works quite well across the board, can detect all types of devices. Now, for each device on the x-axis, we plot the accuracy of our system called LUMOS. And as you can see, the LUMOS achieves just slightly lower accuracy than the prior work, and that is to be expected, because the prior work is assuming root access to the router and extracting all the privileged header fields such as IP, DNS, NTP, et cetera, we are, we are working with only encrypted Wi-Fi 2.11 headers. That said, our system still has a few limitations. The first one is sniffing 8.11 packets is currently disabled by the device manufacturers. Although there is no fundamental hardware or software limitation to do so, and this could be easily, easily enabled, provided enough justification. But for now, to bypass this limitation, we use a Raspberry Pi paired with a mobile phone to do the Wi-Fi sniffing, Wi-Fi packet capturing. An expert attacker could also modify the device behavior to evade detection. So for example, let's say they can hack the firmware to change the transmission behavior or just store the data locally. Now that said, majority of the everyday attackers are out there, don't have the sufficient expertise to hack the firmware. And the future work in this space can also include building similar system for other wireless technologies, such as Zigbee, Bluetooth, or even 5G. So to conclude, you don't have to worry about IoT devices spying on you next time you go to an Airbnb or a hotel, because we present a practical system called Lumos. In 30 minutes, it can identify devices with 95% accuracy and can also localize them with a median error of 1.5 meters. This is made possible by our contributions in data capturing with limited a priori knowledge, device classification with limited features, and localization with no infrastructure support. We have released a very early prototype of our system at the provided link, so feel free to check it out. And I will be happy to take any questions. Thank you.